Welcome to another episode of Bentley's Backwoods Bushcrafting, and uh, today I'm gonna I'm gonna show you one of my uh, uh, sewing kits, and uh, it's it's a it's a small kit that uh, that holds a few items. It's not a very extensive kit, but it's one that I I keep around with me any time that uh, that I'm out and definitely uh, use the most. A really small package of artificial sinew. It's uh, kind of a tannish brown color. And this is the one that I use a lot of. And it's artificial sinew that's uh, black in color. And I keep it wrapped up in this wax paper. And it's tearing. It's had it wrapped up in this for a long time. And then uh, I have a couple antler bone uh, buttons here, just in case I, I need a couple buttons. And I have a multitude of needles that I use for pretty much any any need that I have. The little U-shaped ones. I have a massive amount of them here. And with these needles, these straight, smaller needles, I keep in this needle case here. Little wooden case. And I'm not a hundred percent sure exactly where I got this case at. It's got a nice little cap on it. I like it. There. And all together, I keep it inside of a plastic peanut butter container. It fits in there. Now, the reason I use the plastic peanut butter container is because it helps protect from any water damage and uh, I don't have to worry about using any kind of glass or anything like that or any tin cans I, I used to keep all this stuff in a <clears throat> in a old uh, soup can there we go but it wasn't uh, waterproof and it was a lot heavier. So anyway, I keep it just like that. And this one actually stays in the house for the most part. Uh, I keep it in my large ruck when I'm uh, when I'm out. But uh, usually this is sitting around the house, on one of my shelves, and this is what I use around the house to make my items and and work on stuff here. So anyway, this is a sewing kit that I like to keep. Thanks for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcrafting.